Our next speaker is Karina Rodriguez from the United States, and she'll be presenting on one year outcome of Bictegravir M. trisitabine TAF in virologically suppressed children greater than two years, weighing 14 to less than 25 kilos. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for uh, the invitation to present our one year outcome of Bictegravir. Um, uh, FTC and TAF uh, in virologically suppressed children ages two years and older, weighing 14 to uh, 25 kilos. Uh, so I had been supported through uh, the study through the university. <clears throat> so despite recent innovations in HIV treatment, the, av the limited availability of once daily palatable single tablet regimens uh, for very young children remains problematic. Uh, Victegravir is an unboosted integrase strand uh, transfer inhibitor that is co-formulated with FTC and TAF in a single tablet regimen. Low dose uh, BF TAF uh, STR was recently approved in the US for children uh, living with HIV, weighing 14 to less than 25 kilograms. So here we present safety, efficacy, and acceptability outcomes in virologically suppressed children uh, two years and older receiving uh, the low-dose uh, tablet formulation for 48 weeks. Uh, as you know, Victegravir uh, does have a high um, threshold for resistance and it also actually uh, leads to a very rapid uh, virological suppression. Uh, so this slide actually displays uh, the uh, low dose uh, formulation on the bottom, and then on the top is uh, the adult uh, uh, tablet. Um, uh, so you can actually see the um, brownish purple color for the uh, topper one uh, and the lower one for the uh, low dose tablet for, uh, for children and the comparisons in size. The uh, low dose can also be split in half but cannot be crushed. So the study design, this is a phase two, three uh, open label, multi-center, multi, -center, multi -ho -ho, uh, single arm study. Uh, cohorts one and two have already been uh, uh, presented and reported. Uh, those were for ages 12 to 18, uh, to less than 18, and then uh, six to less than 12 uh, years of age, and also included PK efficacy and safety. Um, the study actually is performing two parts. So for part A, uh, it comprised the intensive PK at week two uh, that was assessed to confirm the dose uh, of the uh, BFTAF, and then part uh, B following the uh, dose confirmation, then additional participants were enrolled to complete the cohort. Uh, the eligibility criteria for the study, the patients actually have uh, to have an HIV RNA um, level of less than 50 copies per ml for uh, at least six or more uh, of six months, have a stable CD4 of over 200 or equal, and also an EGFR of 90 or more. Uh, for cohort three, that is the one that we are reporting today, uh, this was again uh, for children more than two uh, years within the weight band of uh, 14 to less than 25, and included 22 patients, so 12 that participated in uh, part A uh, for the intensive PK and uh, dose finding, and then uh, part B uh, that continued after the confirmation of, uh, of the dose. Uh, as you see, there is uh, safety, efficacy, and PK uh, data um, done uh, throughout the study with week 24 as the uh, primary endpoint and uh, week tw uh, 48 uh, as the secondary endpoint uh, with the possibility for the patients to uh, continue on an extension uh, phase. Uh, safety was... Um, uh, uh, recorded throughout the study with uh, emerging adverse events and laboratory data, uh, HIV RNA uh, and CD4 count for efficacy um, outcomes and the intensive PK as I mentioned, <clears throat> uh, also including some SPAR uh, PK collection at the data point that is uh, mentioned in the slide. 
So uh, um, for this uh, cohort three, uh, there were 22 uh, children that were treated for um, 22 of them actually completed week 48, and then uh, they all enter into the extension phase. Three completed the uh, study drug and actually went on to receive the commercially available uh, formulation, and uh, the remaining uh, are still on the study drug. Uh, the median uh, duration of exposure was uh, 90, uh, 99 weeks, uh, with uh, the quarters of 73 to one of uh, three, uh, I'm sorry, one of eight. The demographics and HIV baseline characteristics are displayed in this slide. Uh, the median age for these children was six, uh, with uh, Q1 and th uh, three of three to seven. Uh, Fifty percent were male. The majority, 73 percent, were black, and 23 were Asian. Uh, all uh, patients have a baseline uh, HIV RNA. Uh, of less than 50 copies as uh, inclusion criteria for the study, and the median CD4 count for this <clears throat> patient was 962 cells with a percentage of three, uh, three, 32. Um, they all um, acquire HIV uh, through perinatal uh, transmission, and the median EGFR was 160. Um, so here is the efficacy um, uh, data, uh, looking at the virological outcomes and uh, also the immunological data. So on the left side of the slide, um, the uh, uh, 48 data um, show that 91, uh, I'm sorry, 21 of the 22 patients, that is um, for 95 percent, at the FDA is not a uh, shop uh, re, um, continue with a virological suppression. If we actually uh, exclude the missing, excluded uh, data, and then 100% of the patients uh, that we have data uh, points uh, on the study actually continue to be virologically suppressed uh, throughout the, uh, the different weeks and study uh, endpoints. Uh, on the right side, there is the median CD4 change. As you can see, the uh, percentage uh, remain stable throughout, um, and the uh, absolute count did decrease uh, with age, which is uh, uh, expected uh, in, uh, in uh, children, with a medium, uh, with a decline in absolute number of 137 uh, at 96 weeks. Uh, the uh, safety, of course, was um, uh, collected throughout the study. 82% of the patients uh, on uh, this regimen experienced uh, an adver uh, adverse event. Uh, any uh, gray um, adverse events uh, that included in at least 10% uh, uh, were uh, upper respiratory infection, cough, and nasopharyngitis that accomplished for uh, approximately 32, 23, and 14 percent of the patients. And then the remaining of the adverse events reported were uh, GI, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Uh, three patients were uh, had an AE that was um, uh, related to the study drug uh, that included uh, one patient with neutropenia, one patient with GI complaints, including abdominal pain and constipation and nausea, and then one patient actually have um, irritability and social avoidance behavior uh, and weight increase uh, that was uh, also reported uh, by the patient continue on the study drug and actually did, um, did well. Uh, the only three, um, only grade three and four uh, laboratory abnormalities in more than one participant was actually neutropenia. Um, so that actually happens in four of the patients for an 18% and the, those were actually transient. Uh, regarding the estimated glomerular filtration rate, as you can see on the uh, uh, left side of the slide, there is a uh, decrease in the uh, EGFR uh, early on uh, that is non-progressive and is stable <coughs> throughout the study. Uh, this is uh, consistent with the known uh, renal uh, creatinine transportive 
uh, effect of uh, Victegravir and is not considered clinically significant. The decrease, as you can see, um, uh, was a, a mean of less than 7.5. <clears throat> Regarding the uh, tablet acceptability, adherence, and palatability, um, you see in colors uh, green, super easy or easy to take, uh, with uh, uh, yellow as hard or um, uh, red super hard. Uh, those um, and the columns display baseline four weeks, 24 and 48 uh, weeks data. And the middle uh, of the slide actually shows how many of the patients uh, took the tablet as a whole, which was the majority between 17 to uh, 19 patients, and a few selected to actually split it in half. Uh, so the majority actually um, uh, say that it was uh, acceptable, uh, both the uh, tablet's uh, shape and uh, size. Uh, the um, ones that actually are kind of in, in red were patients that actually were taking it first split and then move on to take the whole, but then at the end of the 48 and 96 weeks, then they were saying that it was actually super easy to take. So there was certainly a transition uh, within uh, taking the, the tablets. Uh, the immediate adherence, but pill count was very high at 99% at 48 weeks. So in conclusion, the treatment with BF-TAF low-dose STR um, for a median of 99.5 weeks in biologically suppressed children, uh, two years um, within that weight range, um, maintain biological suppression with no treatment emergence resistance. Um, the the, the uh, study drug was well tolerated. There were no grade three or four adverse events or serious adverse events. The acceptability, including palatability of the low dose STR was high, uh, and due to the results in this cohort, a new cohort will start in children four weeks and older, uh, weighing th uh, three to less than 25 uh, kilograms, receiving a tablet for uh, oral suspension. Um, so in summary, um, the uh, formulation represents a highly effective, well-tolerated treatment option uh, for children living with HIV uh, within 14 to uh, less than 25 kilos. So I do uh, want to take this opportunity to thank all the participants, their families, and uh, the study investigators and staff. Uh, the recruitment uh, was uh, done uh, for um, with patients from South Africa, Uganda, Thailand, and the US. Thank you so much for your attention.